I am Grace Hom, and today we're going to work on activating your inner Bagua. So let me explain what a Bagua is. It's a map that Feng Shui practitioners use to lay out all the different areas of your life. So there's an energetic and spatial representation of your whole life. I find that when I work with the inner Bagua, it allows you to really take care of what um, scientists call the epigenetics of you, the environment that creates and enhances certain traits. So working with your inner Bagua, we can clear energies that are not in vibrational resonance with you and bring in the energies that would feel fulfilling, joyful, allowing you to create the kind of success you want in life. Whether it's success in your career, in your exercise program, however you define success, it's the fulfillment of something you truly desire. So let me begin with Bagua 1, which is related to career, higher calling, and in the five elements theory of Chinese medicine, this part of your Bagua is represented by the element water. In your body, that would be kidney meridian and bladder meridian. So I'm going to tune into that and clear anything that blocks your success. And kidney meridian also holds what Chinese medicine calls yuan qi, your original qi, your original, your DNA. So I'm going to clear any blocks in your DNA And as I'm doing this, some of you may yawn or feel sleepy. And I'm sorry, my process is uh, it's kind of messy. It's not elegant. So you're going to yawn and cry and hear your stomach gurgle. It's all kinds of stuff starts happening in the body. And that's all um, normal. <laughs> so... And again, this is tuned into your first Bagua for career and calling in life. So I'm going to clear any and all issues there. And usually there's hidden loyalties to family about how much success you would allow yourself. So if you find yourself self-sabotaging, and you know that you're self-sabotaging, because success is not just a mindset, right? It's many things. So there's the subconscious mind, which literally has a mind of its own. So we're going to clear that part of the Bagua and that part of your subconscious that interferes with you finding success in your career, creating success in your career, and being in alignment with your true calling. Good. And as the kidney meridian and the kidney and bladders are in, the lower part of your body, your first and second chakra. I'm going to clear any issues there. Especially around the hips for many people in the pelvic area, so your pelvic organs as well. Because health is wealth. And the more you're uh, in alignment with health, 
success and ease just comes as a byproduct, right? So we're just clearing fog wall one. And now tune into what success and your career and calling means to you. It's something different for everyone. So what does that mean to you? Good. And align with that. Good. Good. Very good. So now we're going to move on to Bagua 2, which is about marriage and relationships. So it's partnerships, and ultimately it's about happiness. What are you doing to allow you to bring in more joy in your life? And whether you're in a relationship or not, let's clear any and all issues with relationships so that you are in alignment with creating a relationship that's fulfilling for you. So just tune into what success and relationships mean to you. And then we're going to clear all the issues related to that. And this is related to the earth element. Earth element is uh, your stomach and spleen meridians. And even though the pancreas is not a meridian, it's highly correlated with uh, earth energy. So I'm going to tune into your spleen stomach, meridians, and pancreas. And what the earth energy is asking of you is this balance of give and take, right? Many of us are like earth mothers. We give, 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 and we forget to receive but the earth needs to receive and you need to receive your relationships, those that are sustainable. So we want sustainable life enhancing relationships. They contribute to you and you gain something from them that allows you to grow as a person. And tune into what success and relationships mean to you while I clear all the subconscious issues there. And these two Bagwas we cover so far, career and calling and relationships, they're like the reason <laughs> anyone goes to a healer. <laughs> So we're going to even out the give and take energy of your relationships and any relationship in your life that is not sustainable. Not sustainable in that energetically is one way. No give and take, right? That's not life enhancing. So we're going to clear that pattern. And you may see changes in your relationship or you may find that you need to let them go, and that's okay. So let's be okay with letting go of some relationships. Good, good. Good. So now the energy in this Bagua of relationships is feeling better and better, allowing you to feel you can invite and create success in relationships. And that's relationships that are life enhancing and that promote a sense of well-being. 
because the bonding in relationships enhances good hormones and we need those for survival, right? Oxytocin, nitric oxide, we all need that. So let's feel this part of your life. But life enhancing relationships that the body can respond to and we see what ease relationships that uh, your body knows is right for you because it will create oxytocin. Good, very good. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the third Bagua. The third Bagua is family and community. And it's an mood element Bagua. So let me tune into what community means to you. Oh. And let's bring in life enhancing energies in this sector of your Bagua because what does success in the community mean to you, right? It's about having support that nurtures you, like the wood element. Wood, you need something that keeps on. Um, allowing you to grow and receive the soil, the water, the sunshine that allows you to thrive. So let's bring in a community that allows you to thrive and enhances good energy. So biochemically, it enhances good hormones because there's a sense of safety, a sense that people have your back. In community, in our body and immune system, is our outer immune system, right? So let's allow your outer immune system to enhance your inner immune system. That's by being with people who have your back. Oh, yeah, good. Wonderful. And the wood element is uh, in the body. It's liver and gallbladder. So I'm just going to turn into your liver and gallbladder and clear any liver or gallbladder meridian stagnation. Frustrations from life. <laughs> oh, good, good, wonderful. Good. And now we're ready for our fourth Bagua. The fourth Bagua is wealth and prosperity. So that's the rewards for work well done, right? In the fourth Bagua, is also wood element. So also related to liver and gallbladder. So I'm gonna clear any hidden set points to how much wealth, success, and prosperity you're gonna have in life. Good, wonderful. Wonderful. And any hidden loyalties to family or to any belief system that limits how much success you can have and how much money you can have. Let's clear all that.
and let's have your own definition of what wealth and prosperity means to you. Because for some people, it means money. And for some people, it's a, a wealth of relationships, a wealth of creativity, a wealth of friendships, a wealth of ideas, community. What does it mean to you? Okay, so let's clear any blocks to you enjoying wealth and prosperity in life. And in case you have any negative connotations about wealth, money, and prosperity, let's clear all that. I grew up in LA, right? So I used to think millionaires and billionaires are movie stars, rock stars, or drug dealers. <laughs> so that movie star, rock star, drug dealer. How am I ever going to be a millionaire? <laughs> <laughs> so in case you have any negative connotations about what wealth, prosperity, having money means, let's clear all that. And that does mean that does not mean that you're gonna think positively of um rock stars in um drug dealers no <laughs> it means you'll find a different way to look at wealth that enhances your well-being right so if you make a contribution that enhances your well-being and the well-being of others you're going to have more money so what if wealth prosperity can be life enhancing and you can have all that legally and ethically and easily. Yeah, good. Good. This is good. Okay, so now we're going to move on to Bagua 5. Bagua 5 is the center and it's you. You are the center of your life. And it's an earth chakra meridian so let's have the center of you that's your solar plexus right let's have all that be in alignment with you enjoying health and in case you're someone who has created any health challenges it's a way of holding back in life limiting your energy and sometimes, subconsciously, we limit our energy so that we don't have to go after our dreams because your sacred dream is so sacred to you that you don't want it to be, um, to be hurt. Yeah, it's like a baby. You don't want it to be hurt. And some of us are so protective of our dreams that we don't even want it to show up in this reality because this is, for some people, this is not a very friendly reality. So let's clear all that. And all subconscious beliefs or subconscious issues that created you to lower your energy through illness. Now be in alignment would help. And see yourself having successful results with any diet or any exercise program you're on.
can feel your body becoming healthier and healthier all the time. Wonderful, good. So now we're ready to move on to the next Bagua, Bagua number six. That's mentors, spirituality, and travel. And Bagua six is metal element. That's the lungs and large intestine. So travel and mentors, how that works is in this journey, there's this inner travel from the head to the heart. And a mentor is someone who brings you closer to the heart, the heart of things, right? Helping you to make that journey from the head to your heart. And as you travel in the world, so you travel within and be closer to who you are and your own heart and let all your travels in the outer world be a reminder of the wealth that's within you. And take in all the inspiration in the world that would allow you to become more and more heart-centered. And in any hidden set points to how much inspiration you allow yourself to have, that's clear those set points. And let's bring in mentors or travel or even a new call because that's about travel too that would allow you to just have it. Or a new plane or a new boat. Good. Yeah. This is feeling better and better. Good. Good. And now we're going to go to Bagua 7, which is about creativity, children, completion. So that's your creative expression. And completion. So any incomplete unexpressed, repressed issues that hold you back from creating more in your life. Let's clear those and let it be complete in the light. And let's bring in the energy of what success means to you in this area of your life, your creativity and self-expression. Good. Yeah, good. And let's clear the long and large intestine meridians. Good. Good. So now we're going to move on to Bagua 8, knowledge and education, wisdom, learning. And this Bagua is Earth Meridian. So what would you like to cultivate in your life? that would allow you to really become who you are. And maybe you are in that stage of life where you're ready to be the teacher too. So be that. Good, very good. So now we're gonna to go to the next Bagua. And it's the last one. That's fame, reputation, 
your circle of influence and your social life. And Bagua Nine is a, a fire element meridian. Fire element is a hot pericardium, triple burner, and small intestine. So what keeps you from creating a social life and a sphere of influence that would allow you to be more of a contribution in the world. So if you have been hiding, let's clear all the subconscious issues with hiding, being invisible, And if you feel safer being invisible, <laughs> let's change that a little bit, just a little. And your heart knows what is fulfilling for you to contribute to the world. That would allow your sphere of influence to grow and make a difference in many, many lives. So what would enhance your reputation in the world, grow your sphere of influence, and feeling safe, being visible, being a contribution to the world? So all the subconscious set points. and all the past life issues that create you to feel safer, being invisible. Let's clear all those. And in this day and age, sphere of influence and social media kind of go together. So any issues you have with social media, let's clear that. And now allow social media to be a tool for you, a tool for you to make your difference in the world. Good. So now let's have this entire Bagua of you be in alignment with creating success in the new era, right? In the new era of Aquarius. And let all this energy that we just did be integrated in your life with total harmony, ease, joy. Good. All right. Many, many blessings to you, and I wish you a very happy 2021 and a very happy, joyous new era in the age of Aquarius. And I wish you success in all you do. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>